This is Twit. Facebook began rolling out graph search for posts to a subset of U.S. English users. Uh, graph search launched in January with an index of people and photos, places, interests. It's a semantic search feature based on sentences, not keywords. The addition of posts means that now status updates, comments, photo captions, notes, and check-ins will be included in those search results. Hotspot service provider Freedom Pop is now offering a low cost and free plan for cell phones, although for now its only phone model is a refurbished version of the two-year-old WiMAX-based HTC Evo design. You may not want that, but hey, it's a start. Customers get 200 minutes, 500 texts, and 500 megabytes of data each month for free with unlimited texting and calling available for $10.99 per month. Says CEO Stephen Skuckles in an interview, that's how we're going to shake up Verizon and AT&T. There's some trouble with Grand Theft Auto Online, particularly that online part. Apparently, Rockstar servers cannot handle the demand of GTA players. Some users are reporting they are locked out of the game. Last week, Rockstar warned this could happen as it expected huge demand. The company says it will keep gamers updated via Twitter and Facebook. So longtime Verizon customers were happy and surprised this weekend when the company's webpage allowed them to upgrade their phone at a subsidized price while keeping their now obsolete and no longer offered unlimited data plan. Well, it turns out that was a software glitch. Verizon never intended to be so kind. The bug has been fixed, but those who took advantage of it will be allowed to keep their unlimited data plans and their new phones without any trouble from VZW. Out of my cold, dead hands. You'll pry unlimited data. <laughs> Old dead hands. Google's three-year-long EU antitrust investigation into the company's search practices may be wrapping up soon, according to an official. The EU's investigation centers on claims that Google is blocking competitors, like, for example, Microsoft, from search results. Joaquin Almunia, vice president of the European Commission, responsible for competition policy, said one of the most significant improvements suggests suggested by Google involved vertical search, which was the issue that got a lot of criticism from complaints initially. Almunia has also expressed hope that a settlement will soon be reached. Hey, they want it. They all want it. Delta is all in with Microsoft. The airline has a deal with Microsoft where its pilots will be equipped with Surface 2 tablets. The Surface 2 will replace that heavy flight bag carried by pilots, and the move is expected to reduce fuel consumption by 1.2 million gallons per year. In the recent past, Delta also issued Windows phones to its flight attendants to handle in-flight transactions. The zero-access botnet has taken a hit. Symantec says they have disrupted 500,000 of the estimated 1.9 million infected computers that are part of the botnet. Uh, Symantec started disrupting communication back in July between infected commu computers, removing them from the botnet. And Symantec has alerted ISPs about the machines so that owners can be informed that they were infected. Zero-access operates a click fraud scheme. The U.S. government might be in shutdown mode, but it did decide to let Dell go private before everything went dark. Priorities. Dell announced that it has received all necessary regulatory clearance for Michael Dell, who founded and led the computer firm as CEO and chairman, and Silver Lake Partners to take the company private in a $24.9 billion transaction. The transaction is expected to close before the end of Q3 of 2014 or November 1st. Until then, the company does remain publicly traded, but after the deal is finalized, Michael Dell will own about 75%. Google's Gigabit Fiber Internet service is set to come to Austin, Texas sometime mid-2014. And in an in probably entirely unrelated piece of news, AT&T just announced it's increasing its speed in Austin to 300 megabits per second for tens of thousands of customers by December. And Gigabit service will arrive in mid-2014. In fact, if you sign up for the current service, you can get a free upgrade to GigaPower when it arrives. That's what they're calling the Gigabit service. You can even vote on the website. AT&T's website lets you vote for which neighborhoods AT&T will bring the service to first. AT&T came up with this idea. It's totally on their own. BitTorrent just introduced BitTorrent Chat Alpha, an instant messaging chat client. The chat client uses decentralized technology. BitTorrent says it's similar to BitTorrent Sync, but adapted for real-time communications. Right now, BitTorrent Chat is in private alpha, so you'll have to sign up to be invited.